After more than seven decades on radio and then television, what was it that ultimately led to Guiding Light's demise? I think the days of, of all soap operas are probably numbered, uh, largely because of that old nemesis of all television shows, ratings. And uh, Guiding Light originally was aimed pretty much at women, and there were stay-at-home women who were doing the washing, using washing soap, which why they're called soap operas, and tending the kids and doing all those other chores. And uh, the society has changed now, plus the fact that uh, people are watching other stuff on television, the so-called reality shows, talk shows, all kinds of things. And the choices are so great that the there's an ever-diminishing audience for those wonderful old chestnuts called soap operas. You spoke with members of the cast and crew and fans. Did they see this coming or were they surprised by the cancellation? The cast of a show like Guiding Light, many of the actors having been with the broadcast for 20, 25, almost 30 years, uh, came to see it as a kind of annuity in a certain way, as a lifetime opportunity. And uh, at the same time, they realized that uh, this was a social phenomenon that was kind of running out. And I think many of them were prepared for it in a certain way, but at the same time, uh, getting that pink slip after all these years, it always comes as a shock, even if it's an expected one. So based on this current media landscape, do you think we'll ever see that type of longevity again? T television is a curious business. Uh, we, we measure success uh, of broadcasts by, if something's been on the air for five or six years, it's considered a success. Uh, whether we'll ever see broadcasts in the future that last 50, 60, 70 years, uh, heaven knows. But 60 minutes, uh, we're, we're beginning our 42nd season, so uh, who knows? Maybe uh, my grandchildren and even great-grandchildren will be around watching it.